Hello friends and welcome to another session of uh, sequence and series and uh, continuing with our uh, previous topic wherein we were trying to figure out a function which can help to find out the nth term in a given sequence and we are trying to analyze a particular type of sequence only not that it's you know uh, so it's not a random sequence so there is a particular trend in this these the terms and uh, in the previous two sessions we saw how a uh, sequence which can be given by a linear formula and then uh, another sequence in the previous session we watched uh, that there could be a sequence where the term could be given by a quadratic formula and in this particular session we are going to study a sequence whose nth term can be given by a cubic formula or cubic function or cubic polynomial in n okay so uh, the sequence is 1 3 8 18 35 5 and 61 in the first appearance it appears to be having having no trend at all but then on a closer look you will be able to find out that if we go with the, you know the the process of differences right that's what we have been doing so far so 3 minus 1 is 2 and then the next is 8 minus 3 is 5 and 18 minus 8 is um 10 and if you see 35 minus 18 is 17 and 35 61 minus 35 is 26 and so on and so forth this we call as level 1 difference level 1 difference level 1 difference then obviously here also the level 1 difference is not constant so hence we can't say it is tn is definitely not linear not linear right so we can't have a linear expression for tn because the first level difference is not constant let's try to analyze the second level difference right so difference of difference so if you see what is the difference now 3 what is the difference here 5 and here 7 and here it is 9 now here also there is definitely a trend all odd numbers are appearing to be there but then definitely they are not constant never mind let's go and try third level difference so if you see third level difference this will be 2 this will be again 2 and this is also going to be 2 right so this is where we get a constant difference constant difference and here is where we will stop and we'll say that in such cases where the third level of difference is constant the nth term will be given by nth term will be simply a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d where n is a integer which denotes the index n is index or position number you already know position or nth term n is the position of the nth term right n is position right and a b and c and d are a b c and d are mostly rational numbers rational numbers okay this is what we have seen how do we do, do we know that is a separate discussion that proof part we are not going to discuss in this session we are only going to discuss the implementation part so let's say we have such kind of a sequence can i find out a b c and d so that i can get an nth term right nth term expression so let's try and do the same exercise which we did last time so let's say n is equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 i have from the sequence value as 1 first term is 1 and from the formula so i will write from the formula here and here i will write the value from the sequence here okay so from the formula if, if you apply n equals to 1 you will get simply a plus b plus c plus d because all n is 1 and here i am getting 1 so these are same let us call this as equation number 1 when n is 2 let's put n is 2 so what will happen to the formula formula will become 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d isn't it and from the sequence we will get the value as 3 so let me write the value as 3 here this is equation number 2 let's say then third one let's go for the third one so if you see the third value is 8 so let me deploy that value 8 here from the sequence and what will be 
the formula formula will be 9 or rather not 9 27 3 cube is 27 27 a n is equal to 3 i am putting so it will become um, 9 b and uh, then 3 c and d right and this is equal to 8 and the final one final one is the 18 if you see this is 18 here 18 so let me put 18 over here so this is 18 and this one will become now uh, n is equal to 4 so if you put n is equal to 4 you'll get 64a plus um, 4 square that is 16b plus uh, 4c plus d and let us say this is equation number 4 do check the equation so that you know you don't make any mistake so that because this is this is going to be a complicated solution so hence we should keep track of all the uh, values and equations properly right so now we have got four equations and four variables a b and c and d the objective is to find a b c and d so we know solution skills so hence what do we do let's do 2 minus 1 that will eliminate d so if you do that and i will write directly so 8a minus a is 7a then 4b minus b is 3b then 2c minus c is c and d minus d is 0 and in the rhs you will get 2 let us call this as equation number 5 this is equation number 5 correct so 8a minus a just check 3b minus b 2c minus c and d minus d is 0 this is equation number 5 then you do 3 minus 2 why we uh, the idea is to eliminate d from all so hence you will say 27a minus 8 that is 19a plus 9b minus 4b is 5b i hope we are doing correctly so just keep keep a check yeah 9b minus 4 is 5b then this is c and this one will be 5 equation number 6 and then do 4 minus 3 so what will happen here so 64 sorry i have missed a, a here so 64 minus 27 that is 37 right 37a just check mm. Correct, 37a, and then 16 minus 9 is 7b, and this one is simply c, and 18 minus 8 is 10, so this is 7. Correct. Now from here, can we not eliminate c? Yes, very much. How? 6 minus 5 if I do, so c will get eliminated. I will get 19 minus 7 is 12a. Correct, and 5b minus 3b is 2b, and this one is 3 let's say equation number too many equations isn't it but don't worry it is going to be easy right eight now let's do seven minus six that will again eliminate c so 37 minus 19 is 18 a right and seven minus five b is two b and 10 minus five will give you five this is equation number nine and now i can eliminate b from here so if you do nine minus 8 is equal to then what will happen 18 minus 12a is 6a and 2b 2b gets cancelled 5 minus 3 is 2 so hence we get a is 1 upon 3 2 by 6 is 1 upon 3 so little bit more lengthy calculation but we could solve a is equal to 1 by 3 so when a is 1 by 3 use any equation from 8 let's say let's use 8 from 8 and 9 you can use any one so let's say 8 so you see this is 12a plus 2b is 3 isn't it so can i not find so what is uh, can i not find b from here yes i can i can deploy a value a was 1 upon 3 plus 2b is equal to 3 so this becomes 4 so 2b clearly is 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 so b clearly comes out to be minus 1 by 2 correct if if there is known let's go back to c so how to find out c c can be figured out from let's say equation number five so let me write it here from five let's deploy a value so seven into a a was one upon three plus three b so three into minus one by two plus c will give you two right seven a into three b plus c is giving you two so this is seven upon three and this is minus 3 upon 2 plus c is equal to 2 isn't it so 
This will mean C will be equal to 2 minus 7 by 3 plus 3 by 2. Hope the calculations are perfect. So hence if you see this is 6 then take the LCM. So LCM is 6 and then this is becomes 12 minus 14 correct and then 9. Okay, so if you solve this, you will get 12 plus 9 is 21, minus 14 is 7, correct? So, 7 upon 6. Yep, 7 upon 6 is C. So, when we get C, how to find out D now? So, D is, where was D? D was A plus B plus C plus D was 1. So, from 1, you can find out D. So, from 1, from 1, we had A plus B plus C plus D as 1 right so D will be simply equal to 1 minus A minus B minus C so let's deploy values 1 minus A A was 1 by 3 so 1 upon 3 1 upon 3 minus B was minus half so it will become plus half minus C so 7 upon 6 let's find the final value so 6 and this one becomes 6 minus 2 and then to 3 so plus 3 and then simply minus 7 which is equal to 0 right so d is 0 so what do i get guys we get the expression for n term and nth term it was a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d so let's find and you know deploy the value so a was 1 by 3 so n cubed by 3 b was half minus half so n square by 2 and C was 7 upon 6. So 7n by 6 is the, and D was 0. So this is the final relationship. Let's check. Let's check whether it is true or not. So if n equals to 1, if I put P1 will be simply 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 2 plus 7 upon 6, which is equal to, if you, if you take the LCM like that, so 2 minus 3 plus 7, which is equal to, um, so 9 minus 3, 6 by 6 that is 1 so for t equals to 1 it works right if you remember our first term of the sequence was actually 1 so it works right let's see if p2 gives me 3 from this equation then our relation will be correct so t2 t2 will be equal to again deploy 2 cubed by 3 n is 2 so minus 2 square by 2 plus 7 into 2 by 6 so let's do the LCM again. So 6 and this is 3 times 2. So 8, 16 minus 3, 12, 12 plus 14. So this is 30 minus 12, 18 by 6, which is 3. So it works for n is equal to 2 as well. So in our probability, it is going to work for n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4 n is equal to 5 and so on and so forth so what is the conclusion of this exercise conclusion is that for such kind of sequences where the third layer of difference is constant it will be expressed by a cubic polynomial and in this case we got the cubic polynomial as n cube by 3 minus n square by 2 plus 7 by 6 n right if someone asks us to find out hundredth term in this so you do need to just deploy n is equal to 100 and you'll get t 100 if someone asks you to find out 500th term so deploy n is equal to 500 and get 500th term like that so this is what we learned in this session